Hey guys, so today we're going to do another print on the Hicktop D3 Hero. Uh, this one is going to be the Hairy Lion. <laughs> this is one I've been wanting to do for a while in two colors. I found this uh, model on Thingiverse where they actually did a dual extrusion model of the Hairy Lion. So you can have the mane a different color than the body. So I decided to go ahead and go with AMZ 3D Bronze PLA for the body. And I'm going to go with the black AMZ 3D uh, plus I believe this one is for the main and I believe it's also going to have that color for the co uh, for the cone looking thing I'm not for sure but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot on this machine I did size it up this time is going to be setting at about 200 millimeters tall uh, I wanted to go bigger but I can't because of the build volume of the printer uh, pretty much the way the model is I can't print taller because of the width of the model <laughs> which is just fine this is going to look pretty good i think anyway this is going to take about three three and a half days to print so bear with me i'm going to set everything up for the time lapse and say a few prayers and let's see how it turns out i'll see you guys at the end of the time lapse Well guys, there it is. That is that is the entire story right there. This printer just finished 108 hours and 31 minutes on this print. Let's see if it shows us what size. Uh, yes, it does. 207.9 millimeters tall is what this model is. So let's take a look at it and see how it turned out. And it actually turned out pretty good. Now, I had some pretty big failures happening early on. Um, I used Magigoo for the bottom layer. I usually would use uh, glue stick. But I couldn't find my glue stick, so I went and went with the Magigoo. Did pretty good up until about that point there, and then the whole cone started to break apart. So I had to use duct tape in order to, to keep things going. Not exactly the best thing to do, but it worked. And that's all I cared about. <laughs> Oh, goodness let's see here let me go on this other side here I can't see what's what you're seeing on the camera but I'm gonna just want to take it loose here and get it off the build plate since this is magigoo everything once it cools off should just kind of come off the build plate like the prime tower just came off no problem at all Okay, that feels like that is loose. Now there is some duct tape down on the inside of that cone, so it may be a little bit rough getting it off. Nope. It completely released, except for the duct tape. <laughs> I gotta completely clean this bed. But yeah, that cone really did not hold up so hot, but that's fine. The main thing is the body of it turned out amazing 
This is cool. Okay, so I'm going to take this printer, move it off to the side, get behind the table, and let's go ahead and see what we can do with this model. Okay, guys, so here we go. I got it off the build plate. Now it's a matter of trying to get the thing to cut loose. Uh, I'm just going to use a utility knife. I should have tried to find a bigger knife to, to work with this, but let's just see how far I can get with this. By rights, you should have eye protection because it's nothing for the filament to break loose and just go flying. It's going around and then slowly moving down as I go. Once you get down to a certain point, then you can start cutting down the side of it here. Let's start taking off layers. Then once you get down a little bit, you just start cutting again. One thing I have learned is you cut in the direction where you'll see the, the filament goes out and angle like that. If you cut that direction against it, then it's a whole lot easier to cut. Otherwise, you go this way, it takes forever to cut it. And we're nearing the end of it. Starting to get closer. I think that's just about it. Yep, there we go. Let me clean this up a little bit and get right back at it. I will not lie, it is a mess when you do these. <laughs> but this one's kind of the biggest mess I've ever done because I have never printed one this big. Now granted, I believe the infill turned out way thicker than it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be 10% infill uh was zigzag pattern i think it, somehow my settings got messed up because it should not have been as thick as it looks and as heavy as it feels <laughs> but that turned out great so now we have our toilet brush next thing we need to do is kind of shape it a little bit this time i'm going to do it on camera so that it's not as bad as it was when i did my first one Let's see what we can do here. So I'm just going to use the heat gun. I'm just going to use, I'm going to go ahead and use the higher heat because this time the filament is much thicker than it was previous. And as it warms up, you'll feel it start getting pliable. You just want to go ahead and start warming it up. And as you see the hair start falling down, then slowly start to shape it. And as it cools, you'll see it start setting as soon as it starts to cool a little bit. And there it is. Came out pretty good. I'll take it up closer to the camera here in a moment so you can get a better look at it. But that one there turned out pretty nice. Now, I don't know if you noticed this so much in the, in the time lapse, but the black hair started almost from the center and worked its way out. So it really held it in place compared to the, the other hairy lines I've done in the past. So this two, two part, Two color hairy line really turned out amazing. Whoever modeled it did a great job on it. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this one. I'll end it with a picture of it up close. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.